Benedict Pavio is covering all the developments for us today. Uh, Benedict, the sh reshuffle is still underway by some reports. It's only really just getting going now. Tell us who's lost their jobs so far. The government reshuffle is now official. It is indeed just starting. So he's starting with the sackings and in order to do that away from the cameras as much as possible. The Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, is doing that in Parliament. Uh, what we think we'll see later are the people who are actually either keeping their jobs uh, or getting jobs. So, uh, sacked so far, Gavin Williamson, uh, the Education Secretary, that is absolutely not a surprise. He's been very criticised the way that he handled or mishandled uh, the fallout from the pandemic uh, in the education department, uh, the lack of exams, the real, the real chaos that unfolded uh, last year, particularly for uh, school children and students. Um, Robert Jenrick, removed as Housing and Local Government Secretary, uh, he says he will continue to support the Prime Minister and government in every way. There was, uh, There is now... I think a real feeling that the big push for liberalisation of planning permits is now not going to uh, go ahead as planned. Robert Buckland gone as Justice Secretary. Uh, and why is the shake-up happening now, Benedict? Well, it's happening because it's been rumoured for months. We think it was about to happen before the summer. Uh, this is just before the party conference season. Uh, it's these ministers, most of them, have been in their jobs uh, for over 18 months. Uh, and I think it's really seen as a, a necessary time to give a new look in what the government wants this to be a post-pandemic, but we're still in the pandemic, uh, time. So I think the big, big beast to watch out for, uh, and particularly possibly the biggest beast uh, in the government to look out for, is will Dominic Raab, the foreign secretary, keep his job? I understand uh, that he's already seen the Prime Minister, there is a big question mark over the handling or mishandling. Uh, he was on holiday uh, as the fall of Kabul uh, happened. He uh, wanted to stay um, on holiday, didn't come back immediately. So we will see. What we will hear a lot uh, from the Prime Minister and from Downing Street is the fact that he wants to build back better uh, in this post pandemic future, um, and uh, also that he has a strong and united team. It will be about, again, this expression that the Prime Minister loves, levelling up, trying to make sure that there aren't big divisions and disparities uh, within the United Kingdom as far as funding, resourcing uh, is concerned. So very much the beginning of the reshuffle. We will see as it unfolds, particularly in the bigger posts, Defence, Home Secretary, Foreign Secretary later on today, and then it will continue into the junior posts tomorrow. All right, Benedict Pavio, for now, thanks very much indeed. And do keep us uh, abreast of any of those other changes. And we'll be sure to speak to Benedict when we get them.